uh, lights of Christmas parade is going to be here before you know it. We, we, we have visited with, uh, Suzanne McGee, who is the parade chairperson, uh, here about a month or so ago, but it's time now to put a little more push into this thing because we're getting close to the cutoff deadline and Suzanne, good morning. Good morning. Great to have you back well, once thank again. You. Now, you know a little something about this. Anybody uh, who didn't hear us uh, when we talked before, you actually kind of started this uh, how many years ago? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen years ago. Yeah. My husband and I uh, had lived in Colorado, and they had lighted nighttime parades there. And so we thought, why not here? So when we came back, um, we started this one. Well, I am glad that you did. It is a marvelous thing. It is a wonderful time. And not only that, it's the culmination of several events that come together on that same evening. Right. Uh, the parade follows right after the uh, light, <coughs> excuse me, the lighting of the uh, community Christmas tree. Right. And then, of course, the river lights uh, start off that night, too. To where you can drive along the river and see all the lights of right. Christmas right and everything. Right after you watch the parade. <laughs> after watching the parade, right. folks. <laughs> Now, let's talk about that parade because you get a lot of entries in this thing. And uh, one of the really cool things is it's great exposure for all of you people out there with a business maybe or just want to have some fun. And there's no entry fee whatsoever for all this great exposure. Right. Um, It's open to uh, family groups, clubs, businesses, uh, church groups, you know, just whoever. What are the requirements as far as I know? You got to have lights. You have to have lights. Uh, there's no entry fee. Okay. And that's it. Uh, as long as the theme is appropriate to the season, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, how many people do we normally, uh, do you have an anticipation on how many people will be involved in it? Uh, last year we had, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, about 350 vehicles, and there were more than 1,000 people actually participating in the parade. Wow, that's, Ri- that's driving a lot. Driving vehicles or riding on floats. Uh, it just gets bigger every year. Well, now, do you uh, have anybody that you want to thank as far as uh, that uh, goes in on sponsorship, putting uh, this thing together? We don't together? have a sponsor. So we're, this is... we're part of the Concho Christmas Celebration Committee that uh that funds the lights okay the all right so. well i can't wait i get excited when we start yeah. talking about the lights of christmas and and start talking about uh, being able to drive along the banks of the river and there are some people that have just moved out here recently that have not had a chance to experience that and the christmas tree lighting and the the parade and i cannot recommend highly enough that you get involved in this and you go out there and you watch the parade and all and that you be in the parade right. for that matter it's, it's a great event now how how can people get in touch with you to um, set things up okay my phone number is 325 and then we have a website if they want to download the entry form rather than waiting for the mail. Uh, and that is conchochristmascelebration.com. <laughs> okay. Well, Suzanne, everybody get in on this thing. Get ready for it. Now, November 27th is the cutoff. So be sure and get your entry in if you want in uh, by that time so that they can uh, get everything lined out. And then the actual parade is going to be December the 5th and uh, everything else that goes along with it, the culmination of the lighting of the Christmas tree and and then uh, the lights along the banks and just, I, I, I'm excited. I can't oh, wait. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.